Hi, students and adults. We are beginning AR this week. So the way that your student is going to AR test for this week until I send out the reports and what your students' reading levels are, um, I have provided your child with a listening library. And this is the Black Lagoon Listening Library. And um, they can um, take a tour of Mike Taylor's studio. They can meet the author. But then the most critical part are these nine books that are on the bookshelf. So they're going to choose a book. They're going to enjoy the book. When they feel ready, they're going to take a test. And they need to mark the test as read to me. All the directions are up here on the whiteboard. The titles of each of the books are here, along with the quiz numbers. Having the quiz numbers will make it easier to get into the test. So let's pretend that I'm going to read The Teacher from the Black Lagoon. Okay, so my rule in third grade is that we read um, a book three times if it's a picture book. So I have another strategy for chapter books. But for picture books, we read the picture book three times. The first time, we enjoy it. The second time, we pick up details we um, may, may have missed the first time. And the third time, we're really reading it to make sure we know it well to take the test. So after I've listened to this book three times, and I feel I can get 100%, I'm going to go to my class link and click on the accelerated reader icon. It has a blue key on it and it says Renaissance Learning in the middle. Below it, it says accelerated reader Nancy Corey. So you're going to click there and I logged in as a student. So here I am, this is what you'll see once you log in and you're gonna click on the accelerated reader button. Now here I can use the title, the author, the quiz number or a keyword in order to find the book, but I'm going to use the quiz number since that's available to me. So I'm going to pull that up. So it's 12757. So I'm going to type that in, 12757. You can see I already typed it once before. It's not my first uh, edition of this video. Okay, so I'm going to search for the book, and there is the book. So now I'm going to take the quiz. When I go to take the quiz, I can take a vocabulary practice quiz, totally fine. It doesn't necessarily go with this book. It's a great way to develop vocabulary. But the one I'm looking for right now is the reading practice quiz. I can come back later and take the vocabulary practice quiz. So I'm gonna to go to the reading practice quiz. Now, this is really important. How did you read the book? I was read to. I read with someone, I read by myself. This is a listening book, so you were read too. So you're going to click that one, okay? Um, if you read a book with someone that um, is, uh, like you, an adult is helping you read the book, they read a page, you read a page that's reading with someone. If you read by yourself, then um, you can click that. But for now, we're just, I read too. Now, I, Turn these preferences off for the recorded voice. Um, so it shouldn't be there, but maybe I should have refreshed my accelerated reader before I came on. Anyway, recorded voice needs to be off, except for students who require it because of their reading level. Um, the point of AR is that students can read independently with 80% or better success. So their average needs to stay over 80%. They need, if they can read a book, they can read the quiz. So um, students are not allowed to use a recorded voice unless it's an accommodation that's being made for students that um, struggle. And for some of my students, this book may be above your level. This is a 2.4 and you might be like a 1.9 or something like that, but you listen to the book, so you should be able to take the quiz. Adults are not allowed to help children with the quizzes, with the answers, or even with reading the quiz. And adults, oh, and students are not to have the book open or be listening to the book while they're taking the test. The book goes away, you take your test on your own. You click start quiz, and that is how you take the test.